Hello everyone, welcome back. So when to go for integration, when to go for Excel macro, and when to go for Java code. So when you are in an integration field, when we receive a requirement from customer, we need to decide whether we need to build an integration using any integration tool, or we can just simply write a macro job for to fulfill this one-time work or one-time job. Or we need to write the Java code and deploy. So we need to decide this. We need to decide this based on the requirement. So let us see you know, what are the uh, you know, uh, points that we need to consider before deciding this. OK, so integration. So we can build real-time integration or scheduled integrations to read the data from the source system and map the data or just uh, do enrichments to the data and send or load into the target system. So we go to integration when we have licensed integration tool. When customer expecting to schedule daily or for real-time integration, we go for the integration tool. OK? So we'll just you know take any licensed integration tool. Licensed integration tool means Mule ESB, uh, OIC, Delvumi, Workato, Azure. So we have a lot of integration tools. So we need to take any one of the integration tool and build the integration and schedule it. So that is one. And then Excel macro. So macro can take the data from the Excel sheet and call any application using REST or SOAP service to get or load the data. Means, you know, uh, let me show you one. So this is uh, example data. So we have invoice ID, invoice number, like line number and approval status. Let's say requirement is to update uh, for all these invoices, the requirement is to update approval status to pending using REST API. So let's say we have the REST API for that. So we can give data in this format in an Excel sheet and it will take this data and then process it and it can also update the response back into this field. So for to do this all stuff, we need to write a Java code, sorry, the script in Macro. So this is a VB script. So we need to write here. So when 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 the button is clicked, so what to do? So we need to write here. So here we are giving a source or target system, you know, uh, service. This is visual. So and we are we also need to build a request message. So it will call that and then update the data uh, status back into the sheet. Okay, so we go to macros when we receive one time job. Okay, and then Java code. When customer want to build an integration. Okay, so when customer want to build an integration and they don't have any licensed integration tool, we go for writing a Java code, export it as a runnable jar and then we can schedule that jar file in. Uh, if you are using Windows Server, we can schedule that in task scheduler or if you are using Unix, you can also, we can schedule the same jar file in a Unix or Linux, okay? So this is what, so, you know, I think you you got it, right? So when, when to go for integration, we go to integration when we have licensed integration tool when customer expecting to schedule daily or for real-time integrations. Real-time integration means, you know, when, when some update happened at the source system, let's say PO. So when some update happened to the PO at the source system or when new PO is created, immediately we need to take the data and post that into the target system. So that is real-time integration. As soon as the data is entered at the source type, source system, we need to send that to the target system immediately. So that is real-time integration. 
Okay, and for schedule means, you know, we need to schedule job for every 10 minutes or we can also schedule for every day. So that, that is based on the requirement. And Excel macro, we go for one time job. Mm -hmm. You know, so let's say we receive a requirement and we are not aware of these micro jobs. Uh, so requirement is to update 3000 invoices as we discussed just approval status to the pending. So when you are not aware of macros, what do you do? So either you will build Java code or if you have a integration tool, you build integration in integration tool. So building an integration, an integration tool or writing a Java code will take time and you know effort. So if you are aware of macros, you just simply go and write a couple of lines of code in a button, in a VB script, and that takes the data from the sheet and then call the REST API or SOAP service. But when you are deciding to go to the Excel macro, you need to first verify whether it is supported by the application, let's say, you know, you need to read the data from the SFTP location. So I think, you know, uh, I'm not sure whether we can connect to the SFTP server using macros. We need to, you know, verify that. So, the, so that type of things we need to verify before deciding. On Java code. So obviously when customer is not having an integration tool, we go for it. You know, for simple integration, we cannot, request customer to take license of any integration tool because that is for the simple integration tool, we don't need to, oh, sorry, for the simple integration, we don't need to pay for the integration tool. So in that type of cases, we decide to go for Java code. We'll simply write the Java code and then export is a, it has a jar file and then we can schedule the jar. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Good luck.